And then we've got scene four, Mr. and Mrs. Dustin, and then Terry comes in there, yeah? And then a little bit of scene six, so I don't want you to have a look at the model right now. So, just three, four, and the beginning of scene six, okay? So, can you sit down and just have a quick read through of that and talk about your characters, yeah? and then we're going to put on the screen, okay? Okay, you guys, because we're a little bit further ahead with the staging and everything, okay, we know we've got, we'll put a chair to kind of symbolize the pylon, and we've got the girls on one side and the boys on one side. We know we sort of stopped there when we were doing scene one. Let's, um, let's carry on, okay? So, we've got the pylon here, you guys over here, boys on this side, and you're going to be facing this way towards the audience, yeah? So, can you just run through, just run through scene two, okay? And you don't have to stay in these positions, that's kind of how you ended scene one, okay? But let's have a, let's just put it on his feet and see what you've got now that you've done your hot singing of your characters, okay? All right. You can't have your back turned, turn around.
relationship. And does that discord change? Does the police officer walk towards her when he wants to comfort her? Or does she back off when he doesn't want to be near her? Or are you standing quite close together? I mean, there's no right or wrong answer, but you have to make a decision. Okay. And then finally, listening and responding. So when you're not talking, your eyes are alive, your face is alive. Do you respond to what you were saying? Okay, I'll go. Oh, he did stop it. And then as it's heading to the cross, that was very quickly done. Eight fourteen, six Christian votes. We proceed to share the answer. Do you know what, George? George, sorry to sorry to cut you. But because we're going to have the character voice and body language and proxemics, can we cut the monologue and just go to the scene? That's what I want to work on. I'm going to.
a little bit with this workshop because the next step, come sit down boys quickly, the next step is for you to show your work to another, to another class member and get some feedback on how you're doing, okay? So we'll pick this up um, tomorrow's lesson before we go into the next, the next phase. So this phase of our development is we're doing some workshop sessions around the ideas of the characters, okay? So we do between three and four workshops. This is our second one. The audition process was your first workshop that you're gonna be writing about. So creating your monologue, doing your monologue to the other, to the other uh, part of the class, making those decisions. That was workshop number one. Workshop number two is today, exploring the character, character interpretation, okay? And then tomorrow we're gonna to be getting into our third workshop. So, what did you discover about your character today, and how will that discovery influence your interpretation of role? I just have a think about that. I'm going to choose somebody randomly to talk about what they discovered about their character through the process of seeing the rehearsal. Thank you. 